So when we, go, we talk about pituitary adenomas, we talk about pituitary gland, its anatomy, its location, structures around. We'll talk a bit more about cavernocenos in a minute, but pituitary adenomas uh, are for the most part benign tumors uh, that come of course from the pituitary tissue itself. And they were classically classified on uh, two major categories, non-secretor, which were the null cell adenomas. These are tumors that do not have cells that stain for anything. As you will see now, we include in this category, also gonadotroph adenomas. There are tumors that uh, stain for uh, the gonadotrophin uh, hormones, but they do not secrete them. And approximately half of the tumors are non-secretor. The other half are secretor, secretory tumors. And we had three major categories. Uh, prolactinomas, produce prolactin. Growth hormone uh, adenomas that produce acromegaly or giantism. We're gonna review this in a minute. And then ACTH tumors that produce or cause Cushing's disease. As I said, LH, FSH tumors or gonado, gonadotroph adenomas. They cause no symptoms, so we include them now in the non-secretor um, uh, tumor category because they don't produce any hypersecretory symptoms. Um, as I said, most adenomas are benign. Uh, with uh, and I would say probably ninety-five to ninety-nine percent of the adenomas are benign, but there is a group of them that are, uh, that they are uh, more atypical uh, and more aggressive. And very, very rarely there, are, there is something called pituitary carcinomas. They can even have metastasis, but this is extremely, extremely rare. Um, there is a more uh, uh, updated classification of pituitary tumors that has been recently proposed by the uh, WHO. And this is based on the uh, uh, transcription, the cell lineages for each adenoma, uh, uh, for the adenoma cell type. And this is driven by transcription uh, factor expressions. Um, so as we said, you know, from the stem cell, from the rat, rat spout stem cell, there are three different transcription factors, which are TP, PIT1, SF1. And each of them gives uh, different cell lineages. So corticotroph lineage is TP, and that's where ACTH tumors come from. But we also have a type of tumor that is called a silent corticotroph adenoma. These are tumors that are are known to be more invasive, but they are non-secretor. They do not cause cousins. They do not increase ACTH levels. Uh, and then there is the ACTH secreting tumor. Then we have the PID-1 tumors, the PID-1 lineage, uh, which includes both the somatotroph adenomas, the growth hormone adenomas, and the lactotroph adenomas, which are the prolactinomas. And there is something called a mixed uh, tumor or a plurihormonal tumor where it has multiple uh, tumor type, both growth hormone, both prolactin adenomas, and a very rare type of tumor, functional tumor, actually called tyrotroph, uh, where the tumors produce TSH. Uh, and these are rare tumors, uh, but we see them eventually. And, and the plurihormonal type I think, also include the tyrotroph uh, type of adenoma. The PID1 lineage, we are learning recently that these tumors are actually the most invasive and the ones that are most invasive to the uh, cavernocinos in particular. This is new, new research we're coming up with. Um, and then we have the SF1, uh, which are the, the most benign of all these uh, categories, which is the mostly the gonadotroph uh, uh, lineage. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.